Hello everybody, in this video I will show you my new old project. Uh, this project I make in the past, uh, but I was thinking I will try uh, a new start with this project. And this project is all about this. This is Capacity Ink. So with this ink you can make uh, super capacitors uh, or you make some electrodes for uh, for for, for uh, aluminium air batteries or zinc batteries. But this ink I use in this super capacitor. So in basic what I do, I just paint uh, I just paint the graph wall with this. Uh, capacity ink uh, and I make a super capacitor out from this one so I will charge this uh, super capacitor with 2.4 volts uh, to this super capacitor I have connected this little motor uh and yeah i will see how long will this super capacitor run this little motor uh yeah this multimeter is also connected to this motor and will show uh, the current uh, which will take this motor and you see here the voltage and i will turn off the power supply and I will connect the motor so the motor starts on almost 200 milliamps right now we have 16967 milliamps So with this capacity ink you can make a super capacitor which can have any salt electrolyte. In my case I use some uh, zinc sulfate, one mole of zinc sulfate uh, electrolyte and I also add a little bit really tiny amount of um, sodium sulfate. So this is my electrolyte. But you guys, you can use whatever you want on this one. Right now, the motor needs 154, uh, 123 uh, milliamps. And that's it. So this was my first experiment with this one, with this motor. In basic, this one is a three volt motor. Uh, but now, uh, I will connect 
this one to my electronic cloud. Okay, that's it. The charging. So uh, this one I have set on uh, 50 milliampers. And let's go. So the actually voltage is 1.8. And yeah, we will see what we will get. So in the end, I will not record uh, the entire discharge and this is the end so almost seven minutes of runtime on 50 milliamps load which is really really awesome so in basic i will try this one more time i will charge this supercapacitor uh, before I don't fully charge this supercapacitor, uh, right now I will leave it a little bit longer and yeah, I will see what we will get. Okay, that's it. I will disconnect the supercapacitor from my power supply and I will start the another cycle. So the voltage is a little bit higher like before, but we will see in the end uh, what time we will get. This time I get almost 9 minutes uh, when I charge for 1 minute and a half longer. So now that's it for this supercapacitor I will also show you uh, that with this ink you are also able to make some uh, aluminium air battery so here I have aluminium anode some separator the electrolyte for this one I use potassium hydroxide Okay, and here also have this paint coated on uh, graphol current collector. Oops. And really simple aluminium air battery. So let's see what voltage we will get out from this one. one 1.5 volts. But actually voltage of lit, uh, aluminium air battery is 1.2 volts. And you see the battery is spinning the motor. So this one was just for example 
to show you that that you can also make some battery uh, battery cathodes now what I will do I will change um, the electrolyte because like I said uh, you can use every salt electrolyte uh, so here I have this zinc uh, sulfate with a little bit of uh, sodium sulfate to this one I will add also some nickel sulfate just a little bit You just need to play with the electrolytes and so on to get so at this moment I get this green color red electrolyte I will connect this supercapacitor to my uh, electronic load and roll on. And this time I get uh, 10 minutes and... 24 seconds so this runtime was a little bit better uh, like the runtime before uh, and yeah with this one I was only uh, I was only trying to show you how important it is that you also spend more research uh, on the electrolytes so I'm really happy. I'm really happy with this one, with Capacity Ink, and yeah, that's it for now. And we see us in the next video. Bye.